Hello, everybody, and welcome to your daily lighting critique. Uh, today is Tuesday, and we are very excited because we have a ton of uh, images to go through. Uh, really interesting concepts and interesting um, topics going down. We've got um, our Academy of Animated Arts students joining us live. Um, and so what we are going to do, oh, Danny's in a new room. He's uh, surrounded by purple and not yellow today. That's good to see. Um, Danny normally, like I, I associate the color yellow with you because I see you in the room with that yellow wall and I was like, man, that is a cool wall. All right, um, but I do want to get going with, well, I want to start with the, those that are here. We've got jo <laughs> Jordan and Kat and Forrest and Diana. Okay, cool. And Brenda and Danny and Brenda, this is your first time on, is Ooh. that correct? I think so, welcome. It's good, to, it's good to have you here. In fact, we're gonna start with you since uh, I think this is a I just noticed I was silenced. <laughs> That's okay. No, it's great. It's, it's, it's like, uh, it's one <laughs> of my favorite, it's one of my favorite things about Zoom is that nobody ever gets, we never get better at it. I never get better at it. Yeah. Like I, I, I talk on mute the same number of times I did the first time I used it. I've learned nothing <laughs> and gotten yeah. better at it at all. Um, all right, cool. So I think this is, this is a really fun project. I think this is a really like great, like one-to-one, -one, um, Comparison, I think that one of the things that could really be beneficial is brightening these brights a little bit. Like the one thing that I really like about this is that the, the, the light on the sides of, of her face and to a lesser degree her face is, is really kind of a punchy value brighter than everything else. Um, and this, it, it's brighter, but it, it's, it's lacking that little bit of, 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 of punch to it. Let's see if I can do it. Oops. Why are you not doing that? Oh, weird. I have a pop-up somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Missed it. But like, we want it to be just like that level brighter, right? Okay, okay. Um, this might be a bit too much, but something, yeah, that's probably a little bit too much. Like maybe somewhere in here to kind of get, to kind of get that like little pop of color. <laughs> but other than that, I think, um, the color's pretty close. It might be there might be a little bit too much red in it. Um, I think I think like seeing the top of her hat uh, in in yours is just like a, it's a little bit more purple, where the other one's a little bit more true blue. And then in terms of like looking at this character over the background, like that feels pretty good. There's some more like there's a little bit more like slashing light coming in this background here. Like it would be kind of cool to get that in, but I think that's like bonus points. I think I think. What, what, what we were looking for out of this was like, you've got the basic structure there, and I think that's really good. Cool, cool, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Do you have any questions for us? Or is there any, anything that you were struggling with on this or anything you want to talk about? Mm, no, I think I'm good okay. for now. <laughs> Thank you, but it's, this is really good. This Thank is a really you. good start. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to just uh, start closing these. So I feel like I, I thought of this as a possible method to making sure I don't miss anybody. Um, all right, let's take a look at Aaron's here. Um, so Aaron, we've got a couple different instances here because we were playing around with aces versus non-aces. Um, I know you're going to dig in more on the aces side of things. Uh, do, do, would you rather we looked at the non-aces one for now? I mean, it doesn't, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to do aces on this one because okay. I don't think it's, I don't think it's too far along, but there's definitely like, I'm losing the highlights in the, in the particles. I'm. I have to rework two shaders, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got, obviously got the, the biggest difference between the, other than the two shaders is that really harsh blue light on the left side of her face. So I have to, I have to rework that. But I don't think I'm far enough down the pipe that I, I don't want to do Aces. So like, let's, yeah, let's review the Aces one for now. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I totally agree with the, with the things that you want to adjust. I do think that we can probably go, like, f first off, and I said this offline, I really think it's a cool concept. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a neat image, um, and there's a lot of really good potential. Um, the one thing that I, I think that with these kind of cube crystals, I wouldn't be afraid to, like, let them go a little, like, I think the, the most interesting ones are the ones that do get a little bit brighter, like that, um, and, and have a little bit more, um, like, like light because you want you want to make them feel crystally sparkly spectacular -y things um, right. and I do I do I think I think when you get to that brighter point is when they get good when they get into like this kind of um, gr uh, more of a toned down realm um, it's less successful 
Uh, just because it, they, they feel just more like cubes and less like crystals. Or yeah, it feels like a standard surface shader. Yeah, yep. yeah. In terms of her, um, the shaping across her, like her torso looks great. Um, I'm wondering if we can't make her, because her legs almost look transparent, I guess. I'm wondering if we couldn't uh, darken those a little bit. I mean, I, it depends on what you're trying to, what you're going for. It just looks like, like this is solid, but this is almost like transparent in here. Yeah, if you look at the the sRGB version, those pants and the sRGB, like that's mm. what I want. Got it, got it, got it. So got it. I have to rework the shader. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, it's just just that darker value really kind of grounds her in the space, which is nice. Her skin tone, I think, uh, I think it looks great. I think I think her the value of her skin feels mm -hmm. about right. Um, I just think that like um, there could be a little bit more detail, especially like in here. But we, you'll you'll work through that um, as as you're continuing to build this. Um, and then, and then just adding a little bit of, uh, like glow interaction, you can see it here on the shoulder, but like getting it from the glove, maybe coming back on her a little bit more would be kind of cool. Uh, you like, you're talking like making the, the lighting highlights, like those actual light, or are you talking so from the glove back from the glove back onto her body? I think, I think that this glove is a pretty big surface and it's going to be glow. Like if it's going to be glowing, I think it would, it would. Uh, I think we'd feel a little bit of that on her, similar to how we're seeing. And I know this is much closer in here, but I I want to I want to kind of feel that the the glove hand um, color on her body a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think this is I I know I I'm I'm very happy with it. And also maybe just like a little more blue up underneath her neck here. Um, but all, all all in all, it's looking pretty great. All right. Thanks. Yeah, man. Let's see. So I just wanted to look at the the reference. Yeah, but like this glowiness um, is 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 going to be because I'm realizing how how difficult. I mean, I guess I already knew this, but like I'm realizing how difficult it is to get something from looking just bright to looking like it's really glowing, right? Right. So I think I think that like getting that look will be will be just right. And you have some really good reference for that, and that'll that'll be a combination of uh, lighting and comp. Um, yep. Yeah, that glowiness is always comp. All right, uh, Ash is Ashley here? Is he? No. Okay. My my Ashley. You're no, Ashley. She's she's working. Ugh. Ugh. Ridiculous. She goes I down. Know. Back of the line. How dare you? We we have a contract in the house this week. <laughs> Mistakes might have been made. <laughs> Never admit to them, and then you're good. Uh, all right, cool. Danny, we've got two iterations from you. We've got a uh, a, a more um, I was, like this makes it feel like a wizard's den to me. This, the color scheme. Um, so I so I'll, I'll talk about I'll talk about the green one real quick. I think it's I think it's an interesting concept. It is. It does feel like it's just a, a color gradient on it right now because I think I think it's cool and could provide a, a different variation to it. But I do like we're missing a lot of the subtlety from. Oh, did we lose him? I think we lost him. I'm still gonna talk. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna come back to this one in just a second because he might come back. Um, all right, Diana, let's skip to you. So, uh, we've, I, I love the focus on the glass and really like pushing you to get that, get, getting that up a level. I think that's really going to help. Um, so one of the ways that you light, uh, if you're, if you're shooting glass, right. Uh, for photography and you're in a studio, um, one of the, one of the, it's really, really, really hard. And, and one of the things that you do is you want to make sure to read the profile of it. And it looks like you've got some of this in place. And you do that by placing like white cards um, or colored cards or whatever you need just off, like out of range of the camera so that it picks up reflections on the outside so you can really kind of read that outer shape. Because what ends up happening is especially where this starts to get like doubled up in here, it starts to get uh, a little bit, a little bit dark and it starts to like, I, I just kind of want to mm -hmm. see, I want to kind of feel that, that, that outline of that a little bit. Um, I love the lighting setup of this and that she's just getting like a little bit of light here and a lot and like stepping into the space with the, like, cause, cause that's how it would be, right? There would be a cone of light here, but not over there in an art gallery. Um, and then the other thing, so I think, I think the character lighting is, is I think you're, I think you're well on your way there because I think she looks really great. I really want to focus in on the getting the crystal and the glass to look right. 
because the crystal needs to feel special, right? It's a thing she's stealing. It's a thing that she's risking, you know, going to jail for a long time for. So it needs to, I, th I think the lighting on it can, can even be um, uh, like a little, a little bit more special in that, because like the central part of it, it just feels a little bit flat. And I want to get like, I, and I want it to be brighter, and I want it to feel like a little bit like this thing is important, um, and like you could even put also the the, the shader on the the pedestal. <clears throat> it's it if I'm I'm I would have to look at reference, but like this feels more. I'm trying to think of like what's in, in museums. It feels like it would be like more of a cleaner like white pedestal with like a little name tag on it. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, this started out as a gallery or a museum kind of concept, but the shaders weren't kind of working. So I did go more like concrete bunker okay. underground kind of way. I don't know if it's, it's being successful, but I do agree that it is a little too bumpy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little bit too. In that case, it's totally fine. Like it might feel like an underground, like safe or something. Yeah. The other thing that I was thinking for you too was to look in the option of adding IES profiles to these lights back here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Because um, I think that it ha like that's the perfect opportunity for that, right? It I'm, is. I'm, I, I I literally in in the six or seven years I've been doing these critiques, I'm not sure if I've ever like said you should add an IES profile because it's like it's fine, um, and, yeah. they, and they work in some situations. This is a really good one for it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, this is good. And then, oh, and then you made your interrogation one too. Um, yeah. I think it's all looking really good. Like, I think, I think, um, and I, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna ask, uh, challenge you to push the spec more in the blacks on this back. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing that's that's interesting to me is the tape recorder itself. Mm -hmm. It feels a little simple to me. Yeah. And it's more yeah, a lot of the set on both shots. Yeah, it's it's more it's 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 just because I can see like this very angular profile to it. I don't know yeah. if there's much we can do about that. That might just be the way it is. Um, I can try. I can try some things. Mm -hmm. And then there's still a little bit of a line separation here. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I might. I think I might have to do that in comp. Okay. That's fine. No, but this is. Uh, I'll keep it in mind. But like I said, structure, uh, the 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 softness on this back wall looks really good. Like getting, you know, putting her in this profile is really great. Um, it's all it's all it's all working out really really successfully. All right, all right, Jordan. Sounds good. Thank you. This is, but this, yeah, again, looking really really great. All right, Jordan. We've got okay. So this was your first one. This was your updated. Again, I save them both sometimes. Okay. How you doing? All right. So, I, I think her garments are looking a lot better. I think her skin has, as I think the the light source on her skin has gotten gotten too broad, and it's kind of uh, softening her up a little bit again. I think we can. I think we can uh, get back to that like lesser uh, diffuse value. <laughs> Sorry. And now I'm seeing Diana sneak around her room like she's that's that that burglar. Um, so, uh, I would darken that, that, the main diffuse value and then like, see if we, cause I love the color and I think it works really, really well for her. I'm just wondering if we couldn't get it more in the specs. Yeah, sure. I feel like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have a hard time with skin, I think. So I'm trying to learn how to do it right. It's because it's hard. It's, yeah. it's, it's the reason why this challenge exists because it, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a really weird balance of. There's two reasons, because it's a weird balance of subtle bump, subtle spec, shaping. But the bigger reason is because we are so familiar with looking at faces. I mean, even in COVID times when we're all alone, we know, we know intuitively what makes a face look good. Like we we have more leeway on the dime on the on the ruby here than we do on um, on a face, just because we see less of them. And, yeah. uh, and that's, yeah, you know, that's, that's my, oh, dang it. I didn't mean to close Danny. Sorry, Danny. I'll come back to you. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that, that's, I mean, that's, that's a really good reason why it's, why it's tricky. Mm -hmm. The, my, my internet's being really stupid. 
That's okay. No, it's no problem at all. We, we, we skipped over you. I figured you could be back. We'll, we'll go back to you after Jordan. Um, do you, does anybody else have anything for him? Oh, also, also, sorry. Uh, this, uh, the pink, the magenta color that's here, um, it feels a little too saturated. Like I'm seeing like a source of it here and it just feels a little, a little too punchy. I liked, I liked the thought of it. It's just like a little too perfectly pink magenta. Yeah, that was, um, so you were saying before like her skin looked like, um, like it, her skin was looking like desaturated or like not alive, does it look more alive? Yes. No, okay. Yeah, cause the, the dark, the dark just looks dark and not blue. Or not, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's better. It's just better. Cool, awesome, thank you. All right, this is, oh, this is more updated one. Yeah. All right, cool. Anybody else got anything before we move on? I, and also, I think um, at some point we could take another pass at the glasses. I think I think there's a little bit more we can do with like adding reflections to the front of them, maybe. Um, you know what? For now, maybe just take them off, and then yeah. we, and, and then we can come back because I think I think it's just adding like a haze over her eyes, and I think without them we'll be able to make a much more a much stronger connection in the eyes. Yeah, so I actually have a question, question about the glasses. glasses. I don't know how involved it would be, but like, like on any of these shots when you are you're trying to like focus in on the eyes, right? Because that's what's going to draw you into the character. Yeah. Do you do you know of like any examples from like? I mean, anything, anything that we could go look at from like something you've worked on or another animated movie where they have these colored lenses but still have clarity over the eyes, like how does that get achieved? Because I'm trying. I'm to... working on it on my end. So I'm like, I really want to get. I really want to focus in on her eyes, and I feel like I achieved it in my image. But I also my lenses aren't as pink as this one, mm -hmm. so it's like, what if they had to be pinker? You yeah. know? Yeah. I mean, in I, I am trying to think of a time of tinted glasses. I've done a lot of clear glass and a lot of like a, like heads up display stuff where there's stuff happening and you kind of steer clear of like the central part of the eye a little bit or you allow it to pass in like, like quickly. Um, like, like Rio was a big one because the two main characters both wore eyeglasses, uh, the two human leads. And that mm -hmm. was like, we were constantly rendering the lenses separate, like, and a lot of it was rendering the lenses separately from the eyes themselves and then putting them back over. So I'm, I'm wondering, uh, I, I have Rio, Rio, Rio one, or you guys already have Rio two. Both of them. Tulia okay. and Linda, Tuli, Tulio and Linda. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a look. I mean, we, we did a ton of dev on it. So it was a lot of like, okay, you know, how much uh, IOR do we want? How much is too much? Okay. Now that just looks like there's nothing there. We got to add a little something in. Um, how do we get eye dings on her eye, but not like her glasses, like all, all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. for me that am I, if, I'm, 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 I, I would have to look at more reference, but I, it might, it might actually be a little bit of a, um, fundamental problem with this character's design. We like, we, 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 we might want to think about just isolating the pink to the edges or something. Mm -hmm. And then allowing it to clear in the center or so, some other type of design, but because you're right, it's just it's just gonna lower the contrast over her eyes every single time unless it's clear. Fair point. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and pop those pop pop those bad boys off for now, and then we can maybe design them a little bit more later. That's a good point. Thank you. Th thank you. Aaron. Yeah. No. Wait, thanks, thanks for answering. I have a meeting after one, but thank, thank you. you. Unacceptable. That the whole Aaron Ashley household has let us down today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's I'm just kidding. Go, 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 go. You're good. All right, thanks. Yeah, it is, right. it is 3.30 if anyone has to hop to a 3.30 thing or whatever time that is locally for you, mm -hmm. I should say. Um, Danny, okay. We got you. Do we have Danny back? We mm -hmm. have him as a spinning dots. And now I think he's frozen. Danny, are you there? Okay. Maybe let's just do it. Do it. Let's <laughs> just do it. Okay. Yeah, internet issues suck. Okay, so... The, the green version, um, I like it, but I th like as an alternate, I, I, don't, I, I definitely don't want to lose this. I don't think it's better than this. I think this is com coming together really well. Um, I think this could be a cool color palette, but w just, just, I mean, it's probably, like I know you just probably tweak the colors, but doing it in a way that maintains the subtlety of a lot of this stuff, it, is the, it would be really important. 
So I think I think it's a I think it's a fine um, option to go for round two after after we kind of nail this one because I think it totally changes the look of the room. Um, and then and then I think like a, a, a no brainer third version would be like make it a sunny day happy space of like a reading nook of a loving family or something. <laughs> um, but but so so I I do think it's viable. Uh, I would just need we just need to dial it in a little bit more. Um, I'll open up this one. So so. Let me see. Make it a little bigger. Um, I think that the moonlight looks a lot better. We're getting some much more natural shadows mm -hmm. over here. Although, in, hmm, I'm thinking, I guess, no, that's the shadow there for me. No, that's fine. It's a little bit lower. Um, My question was about, about, about the color of it. Does, it. does it clash too much with the scene? I don't think so. What do you guys think? I, I, I kind of want to see the volumetric be like a deeper blue, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm not saying it'll be, I think, think that's better, better, but I'm curious, curious about it. it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I feel like I want, want to see more fall off on, on the volume. volume. Yes, well, I think I think both of those are, are good points. I, I agree that I don't necessarily know if this stronger, let's like, I think, yeah, I think something... Like more like that would be, I think that'd be cool. And I agree that, I do agree that that more fall off would be beneficial too. And I also, I also wanted to ask, ask so, so I have, I have the hallway and I have the moon, they're both volumetric lights. Should I have like a, like a fog in the room and then comp it in? Or is it better to have the two lights with their own volumetric? I mean, is there, could you do the volume for the room separately too? And so you have yeah, three separate it's elements. A separate and then, press. Yeah, I mean, I think I think having all three will give you control to dial it in. Um, I, one, one thing I'm noticing uh, is, is that my right now with that the light shaft coming from the moon, my eyes being drawn to that table. But I feel yeah. like the story is more about what's in the, oh, that background, like the. Um, like the, the fire in the couch, or at least in the previous versions. So it's just, I'm just noticing how much more my eyes kind of living in this foreground and on that, that table. Yeah, that's, I think that's also my problem with it. It's really, because really, it's also a different shade, a different color, and it really makes it pop, so. Damn it, that's a good not, point. not sold on it yet. I mean, like, it is a thing, and it's kind of inherent in what we do that we sometimes try to do too much, and maybe we're trying to do too much here. May, may, I mean, just for tomorrow or the next time you show, uh, maybe turn maybe turn off the moon and the hallway light and just see what it looks like without those things, and maybe we can look at it like dialing one of one of them or both of them back in. I mean, maybe it's better to to kill to kill one or the other. Yeah. Like, I, it, it, it sucks to say stuff like that because you're like, clearly you worked at it and you dialed it in and they are looking good. But, 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 but you have to be true and honest to the end goal of, um, and I think, I think you both might be right that it's, that we're trying, that we're pulling the eye a little bit too much in the foreground and not allowing us to, to fall back into the space by the fireplace. If, if I remember, remember the reference, reference right, right, there wasn't a lot of light, light in the foreground, foreground at all. Right. It was mostly... Yeah. And like by the way, yeah. and, and to say and to say this, like this is um uh good for like this is good experimentation because this is dialing in the look, right? And this will this can pay dividends if you do a couple other iterations like we were saying. Um but uh but yeah, it, it might just be a matter of pulling back on that stuff. So let's see. Let's take a look, let's take a look at it and see if we like it. Yeah, yeah cool. 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 All right. Let's see. All right. So we've got Cat up next. Oh, okay. uh, so we got the two different uh, shots here. So, I, like, do you see how just like a little bit of um, adding a little bit of haze to it, like like lifting the dark values a little bit back here, really pulls that motorcycle forward a little bit. I think we can yeah, actually. Yeah, that's pop that up a lot. Yeah. I think we can actually push it further too. I think there could be more haze back there overall. Um, yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure because I was putting, putting more in and I'm like, because then I started losing the lighting a little bit. bit. So, so I, I could, 
I guess, I guess I could crank the, the lights, lights up a little, little bit to counteract, counteract the haze. haze. Well, one of the things too is that the, the lights would interact with the haze a little bit. So if you're if you're adding the haze is like a, like maybe have those lights in there to kind of like glow up within the haze because those would interact a little okay. bit. Um, and then and then the the glasses might be the same issue we were just talking about um, with having this green tint over all of them um, may may be uh, hurting us uh, overall. So I'm I, I may I, I'm. I'm in, until in, unless unless you have the time to like dial in a specific look for the glasses that that helps clear that I'm um, I'm leaning on perhaps we should just pull those off for right now, um, and and really get the, the look of the eye and then if we have time maybe we can dial in like a a cooler heads up display on on the on the glasses there. Um, I think okay. the, I think the garments are looking better. I still think we could go a little bit like I think the pants look good. I think the shoes could use a. I think the shoes, the bag, and the shirt could use a little bit more spec. I like what we're seeing okay. here. Um, yeah, the, the shoes, shoes don't really have any light directed at them, them so, so I can I can, I can, I can put, put in a little spec light or something for the shoes. shoes. You know, one other thing too with the background, we can go, we can throw that a little out of focus too. We can do a little depth of field blur back there <clears throat> because we're close enough to her where that would make sense. Okay. What do you guys think? Thirty minutes, fifteen. Yeah, I think our outfits. Oh, do you, do you like the colors better on the? Oh, sorry. sorry. Do you like the colors better on the neon? The, the name. Get rid of the yellow, yellow and the pink. pink. Yeah, the I do. I do. <laughs> That's all I care about is what my name looks like in lights. <laughs> just I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Mike. Yeah, no, that's perfect. 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 All right, go ahead, go ahead Diana. No, no I, I, just, I just agree that, that the outfits look, look a little rough. rough. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Maybe like lower, lower the roughness. roughness. Color correct, correct the texture, texture or something. Maybe Make it like, like tighter, shinier a little bit. Would, would help. Yeah. I think yeah. I think like, like try, try that first before, before adding a spec, spec light. light. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Yeah. That's smart. Do, Do you what with the roughness? Sorry, I had to shut my door. The um the roughness. Lower, lower the roughness. On shoes, bag. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah. Mm. Maybe pants. Yeah, yeah and, and just um, try playing, playing with the roughness texture before you, you try adding, adding a spec light. Is just what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, this is I, think that, uh, I, I think, think that the pink spotlights, since they're the, the only pink things, things that they, they, they immediately draw my eyes to it, it and, and I don't, I don't see, see them really lighting, lighting anything. anything. I think, I think I think you can, can I, think I think you can even turn them off. Are you talking about the the pink spotlights? Yeah. yeah. It is. I mean, it is kind of scraping along this building here. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I can't, can't hear what Danny's saying. saying so oh. you want to relay that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was saying he was talking about how like, because basically the pink lights he was saying aren't really lighting anything, but I think I like it here in the volume, Danny, mm -hmm. and I do. I'm looking at these because these are interesting in that they feel like they're from underneath, but but they also feel frontal at the same time. And I'm trying to wrap my head around that. Like I'm like where are the where are these spotlights positioned? I basically I basically, I basically place, place them at the bottom, bottom of the building, building and, and angled them up to scrape along the side just to okay. kind of provide more of a light pop. I didn't want all of them necessarily to be volumetric mm -hmm. um just because i didn't know if that was going to work but if we're adding more mist i can add volume to them but it was just to kind of provide a little bit more color pop yeah so i just kind of angled them because you know like when you go to vegas or whatever you have lights along the sides of the building lighting them up yeah i can tell i mean it's funny because like these draw my eye but i think this one actually works better like i think that's i think that's actually pretty nice so maybe, maybe it's a matter of toning them down i like that it's a little bit softer around the edge um, and then turning down the okay. saturation a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can. And, and allow her, just her saturation to really stand okay. up. Yeah. All right, cool. And then let's take this other one. So, um, okay. four, yeah, four images here. Oh, let's go and close that. Um, okay, so I know the shaders are uh, temp, so we won't talk about that. But, but one thing about that, before I, now that I said that I wasn't going to talk about it, and this is more about like when you're working with shaders, because um, okay. like 
it, it, it draws a big red flag to me whenever like the arm gets this much light and then the shirt gets that much light, right? right. It, 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 it screams to me that, that they're out of balance with one another. So when, you, when you're doing it, just make sure that like, um, I mean, they don't have to be perfect because they are different materials, but like, generally speaking, you don't you don't want something to go almost white and the other thing look like it's barely getting any light at all. That's it. Okay, so for this one, right. I was thinking, it's it's really it's it's an interesting. By the way, this is my favorite time in lighting. Is like before we're not like dialing in super specifics. It's like we're framing it and blocking it out the look. So we've got this window light coming through. We do have a table desk lamp. And I'm wondering if if it would be, and it looks like he delivers a strong line, like really close to that light. And I'm wondering if maybe toning down the exterior light, mm -hmm. and I, this depends on like what flexibility you have. It almost feels like there should be less influence outside and more influence on what we're seeing coming out of this one. Cause like it's got a, it's got a shade on top. The light would bounce down and come up on him and allow him the opportunity to live in a little bit of darkness here. And then as he steps yeah. forward, it's like, boom, like up underneath him and he really gets something. That's, that's my, that, that would be. Yeah, yeah that's basically the look I was going, going for was, was that type of, he comes, comes into, into the light. light. Okay. I just, yeah, I, I, basically, basically this, this was my first, first shot at last night. night. So, so this, this is like, like from, from yesterday. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, like, it's. That's definitely the look I'm going for. He's coming into a dark patch. Yeah, and it's like. Coming into a light patch of the dark. Yeah, show, I mean, like always show what you got. Cause like we can, we can take a look at it and be like, oh, you know, like I'm a. <clears throat> I, I am not a big fan. I work with I work with some people. I've worked with people in the past that um, really liked to hold things close to the chest for a long time until they felt like it was really ready. I, I'm the complete opposite of that. It's like show your first iteration, and we can that that way you're not married to anything, and you, we can we can really because it's. I mean, I I did that once on Rio One. There was a a shot of it's like when the birds are being kidnapped and the plane's about to take off. And I was given a color key with it being at nighttime and, or like it was, it was like sunset time or something. It was, it was, and I, I like nailed it. Like I really felt good about it. And then I showed it and the art director was like, Hey guys, didn't we change this to, to, to morning? This is morning, right? Yeah. Let's do morning on this one. And I was like, and I was so defeated and I was like, never again, am I going to wait that long to show something odd story. Right. But, but I, that it like, it, it showed me that like, it, it doesn't matter how good you nail something if it's just wrong. Um, and so, so for this one, I th so so um, I do I love that you're thinking about adding an influence of an off-screen light, but I do think it, it could be more if it's like th like think about this light back here behind him, adding a little bit of like rim to him, so that when he's back in the space a little bit more, like maybe it's just like a little bit of rim back here as lights coming in through here, but his core values are dark until he steps forward into the light. Then it's like then we really get the definition on his face. I was, I was and just, just I, I, I'm not, not sure, sure if this is a mesh, mesh issue or, or what, but I have, I have so, so both, both there's two windows. There's, there's one, one that you see and the one that you don't on screen right, it's off camera. camera. Um, so, so that's, that's what the light's coming in from, from there. But, but I'm not getting any shadow from the lines from the screen right one. Now it's on the wall on the opposite side of the room, but it's not appearing anywhere on him. And I don't. No, no why that is. I didn't know 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 and and so what you're seeing is that okay. yeah and so like once you pull it back it'll tighten those down a little bit and then you'll be able to see more of them. Or yeah, I know that. <laughs> no, it's 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 like you know like no I'm, I'm gonna put an area light right outside this window and we'll, we'll go for it or like whatever and it's just like yeah it's weird CG CG lighting is just different and you gotta okay. get used to it. Um, okay. Okay. Should, should I keep, just, keep just real quick, quick should, should I keep, keep the, the strong light then on him when, when he comes forward? So you're saying make, make him more shadowy in the back, which is what I was thinking. But at, like, at that pose right here, mm -hmm. should, should I have a 
like, like the, the rim light, light on the screen right, right side, side of the face. Maybe so the rim light's, light's coming in from the window you see, and then there would be a really bright light coming in the other side or not. Not yet. Maybe let's let's let's, let's keep part of like, like, yeah. Shadow. Let's let's just keep it this light and this light for now, and then we will see where that lands naturally, and then and then we might we might add a little bit in. But that's a good, that's a good call because we do want to read this motion okay. back here. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, I, have I have like a setup, setup question. question. Yeah. On, 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 so, so on on, on his, his left, left arm, arm mm -hmm. there, there are, are some, some shots, shots where, where he has, has a really, really strong highlight on the rim. rim. And there's, there's one, one where it gets, like, lost. Is that, Is that because, because, like, it, even, even here, here on the bottom of his right, right arm, you get, get that highlight. Is it because, because you're, you're farther, farther away, away or, or is the light, light supposed, supposed to carry, carry on that much? much? I think, I think it came out. out. Like, like, question. Question. like, why is this brighter? No, no, like, like, like okay. okay. So, so in, this in this shot, shot you have, have the highlight. highlight. Mm -hmm. And the next, next shot, you also have the highlight. And then when he brings his arm... More, more towards, towards the center, center of the screen, screen he, he kind, kind of loses, loses the highlight. highlight. So, so is, that, is, that, is that just because he's, far, far, he's, he's going, going farther, farther away from the light? light? Let's see. Pa I'm not going to... Over yeah. here you really, really have, have the highlight, highlight. Over, over here, here you kind of... The one, one before, before you kind of lose, lose it. And is, is that, that just because of where the light is placed? It feels like that might be the blinds <laughs> like a little bit like like this feels like he's being slightly shattered by the blinds and then this is where he's like purely getting hit it doesn't feel like spec it feels yeah, like a diffuse okay. difference it feels like two different values hitting him there, there is, is actually, actually two, two different, different lights, lights hitting, hitting him, so I didn't, I didn't hear what Danny was saying, but I'm just judging off what you said. Yeah. Um, I have a brighter light behind him coming through the window, and then I put, put another light a little closer to try to uh, set up face a bit differently, differently as he got closer, because so I didn't want all the light coming from behind the window. So if there's a brighter light, that's why his arm and his nose are brighter when he's back that way. But I can change that. Cool. All right, cool. I think we got everyone who's live. Is that, did we miss anybody? Let's go through, let's go through. Okay, there we go, hi. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Um, so we got the latest here. Um, yeah, so I think, so I was asking last time, and if, if you can chime in, uh, are, are you able to, to say things? <laughs> Sometimes I know it's awkward. Um, but the, basically what I was looking for last time was uh, whether or not, because I think, and I do like that we've gotten a little bit more darker in the foreground. It's really about, like, I just want to make sure that we've got the mood of the shot right. Like, because if this feels like, it's like a dark alley at night. Is this like a soft, like he's relaxing at the end of the day? Or is it like more intense, more dramatic? Um, because I think right now we're kind of on the cusp of one or the other. And I do think that if we want to go more dramatic, that we should really play it up as um, like stronger rims and like real, like almost like silhouetting the character because this light is actually behind him, um, and and allowing the front of him to get a little darker and then just like really picking up that rim. If we're trying to make it a little warmer, then I would intensify um, the light. Kind of down around around the base here that's being hit on the ground and um, causing some more like bounce light up onto the character a little bit, right? So I think I think it's more about like if we're trying to create a happy vibe, push the, push the bounce light. If we're trying to create a dramatic, you know, maybe this guy's about to get into a fight or something. I don't know what he does. Uh, it's uh, it's but like like that would be a more contrasty look. Because right now, I feel like we're kind of tiptoeing along the line, and I really want to push you one way or the other to really sell the mood. Um, in terms of like the uh, the technical side of the shot, I think it's looking I think it's looking really good. I would just a couple little things like darken this window back up there. Um, I would just make that closer to black. This looks good. These look good. Um, this looks a lot better. I think you can go a little brighter on that that lamp, and then. Um, one thing that I like to do in this scene is 
Uh, mm -hmm. This wall looks good. This wall's okay. But like this, there's, a, there's an alley that's right here. And I'm oh, wondering if, actually, let me just go ahead and do it. I usually like to, to uh, darken this wall a little bit more if we can. Nope, that's not right. To, because it adds more dimensionality to the area back behind him. And because, uh, like, yeah, yeah. oh, are you here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. so yeah, hey, so, hey. so just like a little bit of darkness there. Oh, not too much, but like, I think that like doing something like that adds a lot of dimension to this scene and will make him <laughs> pop forward a little bit. So, so yeah, now that they got you on, what are you, what, what, describe what's happening here. Like describe the mood that you're trying to create. Um, I guess this is kind of like, uh, it's like a chilled vibe. vibe. Yeah. Um, um, that, that sun's, sun's going, going down and, and it's just, just like relaxing. relaxing. Cool. Yeah. So I think, I think play, I think make this light brighter, like the influence a little bit brighter and then push up the bounce on him to kind of fill him in a little bit more. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. But yeah, but like you've got a lot of really great detail in here. Like the spec on the street looks really great, I think. Um, and then also, oh, maybe... I was gonna say these, maybe just more spec on the leaves. I was gonna say make them a little more greener, but like I think it's just that they look matte. I think making them greener will just kind of screw up the color palette you've created. So maybe just like a little bit of like specular highlights coming across them, like they're, they're like they're waxy leaves. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Does anybody have anything thank else? Thank you very much. No, no problem. All right, I see. Oh, we had. Ah, we. I think we lost them. Uh, Snagatooth is here. All right. So I think, I, I think this is a, a lot, I, I like the background a lot more. Um, and then the last, the last thing I think we could do, uh, for this one is to push. Cause like now that this, that this has come up a little bit, we, this feels a little darker. So I feel like our main, um, our main light sources can go a little bit brighter to kind of match, match that look of the the little the, the little kid. You know, something more in in this range to kind of get that brighter area. But I think I think tonality, uh, you're you're looking really good, and you've got like the. Uh, vertical shaping that you were able to get on this looks really good, and you you were able to accomplish it by just casting the shadow down here and then having that up there. It looks really really nice. Uh, but yeah, just put push the key light a little bit more just to make that brighter, and I think you're good. All right, and then make sure. Okay. All right, Andre. So thank you for for providing all the the layers here. Let's go ahead and just make that smaller. Um, so I was kind of going through, so just, just so you guys can see, so this is the initial mm -hmm. render, and then this is the, the final version. Um, and I was kind of looking through it, and I, and, and I, was, I was hoping you could do something for me because I want to play with this more. Um, would you mind just uh, saving out a version of this scene with like all gray like you can just use like a what like a, the default if you're using arnold just like the default arnold shader on everything and sending that over i want to open it in maya play around with it a little bit because one of the things that's that's interesting to me is like i feel like naturally the light outside of this space would be a lot brighter than the light inside and they feel very similar to me in their values and i'm wondering if there's something going on in the setup that would cause that um, like the way the the scene is constructed or something, um, and then oh, thank you. and then also like we're like there's some things like there's a like a bright light here on the interior space. I'm I'm just wondering if there's like we're adding a lot of light from the interior and that's lifting that to like match what's going on outside in a way that kind of feels unrealistic in the initial render and forcing us to really push it in the comp. That, that starts to kind of break down the image a little bit. So I just kind of want to play with that a little bit, if that's okay. Um, and because and another thing that I saw was like this, uh, oh, and then like the, the base, and there's something else, right? The base shader on, on the, the man here, 
um, feels too plasticky. Like I, I would get a little bit of subsurface in there. Like I'm seeing like these these specular highlights, which you, which you identify and do a good job of painting out, are an indication not just that they're there, but that that I think we can get more, um, like a little less a little less specularity on it, and a little bit more bump, and um, and perhaps some more subsurface. Although it does look like there's some some surface happening here, but kind of stepping through this, um, these adjustments. It's amazing how much that that sign kind of grounds in uh, some of these things, and then. Um, because yeah, like once we start, like even just like that helps, but I, I just think that I, I just, in my head naturally, um, it would like, we wouldn't need to add this much vignetting cause it would kind of happen naturally. And then same thing outside. And by the way, thank you for the, for sharing this, the, your full Photoshop file with me. I know that's like a, uh, looking behind the curtain. It's totally intimidating. I hate like when someone's like, Hey, go ahead and send your comp over. I'll take a look at it. I was like, I will not be doing that. I will not be showing that to any. No, that's not for anybody else. That's just for me. Uh, so thank you for doing that. It's really great. I just I just want to see the core. I just want to see the the original file, and we can play around with that a little bit tomorrow. Um, yeah, same thing here. Because again, like in this this default version, there's just like a lot of light on the back of the characters, um, and I'm wondering if if the interior setup is a little bit too complex. Um, actually, this water looks a lot better. I do I do want her to feel. Uh, like, I feel like her shoes are wet. I feel like her pants are wet. I feel like her jacket is not. I feel like that's still dry. And I want to kind of see some more wetness on that. Um, this is a good solution to the eye problem, to the glasses problem. Like, something like this of, like, having the the heads-up displays along the outside. Like, we've got it designed in here. And, then, and now we can, like, back off a little bit on the haze of the glasses here and allow the eye to read through. Um, and I think that, that that would work really well. Um, there's so much detail on this that this this wall with like the hard cube like it's like a um, it feels like too perfect to me and I'm wondering if there's a way of breaking it up with some displacement or something um, just because like like the light hitting the top of it is creating this like perfectly straight line across uh, what do you guys think about the overall image too I should I should open that up if there's anything I have a a thought about, about like the, the composition, composition of it, of it. Um, which, which is, is like there's this character to the left that's very, that's very sinister, sinister. Um, and, and then our hero, hero character is kind of looking what appears to be like, like away from this character, character. And, there's and there's not, not like a connection between the two mm. for, me, for me from, from a story, story standpoint. standpoint. So, so I'm wondering like if turning the character and creating more of a connection between those two, if that's like the story that she wants to tell. Might be, might be beneficial, beneficial or, just or just throwing that character more out of focus, focus uh, if that's not the story. It's, it's interesting because I think her eyes are looking towards the character, but I don't think we can see them yet. So that's a really good point. So I think I think it might just be a matter of brightening the eyes to, to get that to read. Um, but yeah, I, I agree that, that like just by the basis of it, it doesn't quite feel right. But Or maybe just turn it, like if you could just like rotate her head slightly more which might, which anytime that happens, screws up the lighting, but maybe just rotating it just a little bit more so we can feel this connection here and make sure the gaze is on point. That's a good call. I don't, I don't really, really have, have a problem, problem with the wall going across, across but, but I feel like, like the bricks, bricks are a little, are a little too short, short and, and, and then all, all the other lines, lines are reinforcing it a little, little bit too much. much. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a thing too that the walls just, eh, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know. One of the one of the things about rooftops at cities is that they would never put a wall like at knee height or like below waist height. <laughs> that's that. just a tripping hazard. Like now they're like they're big and they got big glass things everywhere. But like, um, I'm I, I maybe it's just the scale of it a little bit too. But yeah, m m maybe that's maybe that more than the hard line. Um, um, I, I, I know she was, she was like, like hyper focused on, on her. her on a reference like would it like really help to like break that up is that, that oh, maybe yeah that's not a bad idea right. aaron you're dead to us i mean you already stepped away for i mean <laughs> so, so i'm back <laughs> no, I'm all decent. you're good um but i think like but the I, I mean i think the background's looking really good and i like all that and i like the rain coming through i think that's picking up the light really nicely the way it kind of enters into that space i think the water looks good um yeah but I think I think this is I think it's coming together overall. All right. All right, Jeff. 
Um, I want to see a little bit more warmth in her skin tone. I feel maybe we had it before, but I feel like I feel like maybe we lost it a little bit. Just like oh, not that. Like just like a little bit more. Her skin's feeling a little on the green side. Um, and I guess, yeah, and you know what? And now that we're seeing some other ones, I think Diana's note about the specular roughness may, may come, in, come in here too. I would say maybe try, because again, like we, we want to see a little bit more specularity in these garments and it might just be the specular roughness is too high. So try taking that down a little bit. Um, And I know we've talked a lot about these lights. They, they feel a little dim to me, especially right, right right here around the base. Maybe just brighten those up a little bit more. Anybody else got anything? I'm, I'm, I'm not always the best with lens flare, but this one feels a little bit stretched out to me. Um, like I know, I know they get, like the shapes themselves feel kind of oblong and I'm not, Forrest, you might know with your experience or Kat with your photography, like, I usually don't see, like that feels 2D to me. Like, I don't know, like they, they feel like there would be a little more, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. But it, like the position of them makes sense because they're kind of stretching out from the light source, but I just feel like they're oblong a little bit. Yeah, yeah I agree. Okay. All right, and last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones on the floor kind of just feel like puddles of color. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. So they're supposed to be lens, lens flare. flare. I don't. Like if we if we just saw that, it wouldn't necessarily read as lens flare as much as just being on the floor. That's true. Maybe maybe, maybe too, too if he shifts it closer to her, her so, so it doesn't look like, like it's just, just a weird reflection on the wall. wall. Yeah. You know, because you know, lens, lens flare is kind of angled, angle, but you kind of coming, coming from, from where the, where the light, light is. So I don't know if he can move them over a little bit or give them give the wall give that hole a little bit more shadow or something. But it just kind of looks like. When I, when I saw, that, saw that, I thought it was like a weird reflection or something, so I didn't, didn't, didn't realize that that was going to be one of the so. Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right. All right, cool. Let's take a look at this last one. Okay, so Jen, you were talking about referencing um, uh, Juan, uh, Juan's from the uh, Lighting Challenge. Yeah, reach out to him. He's, he's a very, very nice man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd be... I'm not going to answer for him. Maybe he would like be okay with you using his reference. But... Um, yeah, the biggest thing that, that I really, really loved about this one is just like the softness and the, f it feels like it's like, and I don't know if this is true. It feels like he's in full control of the values across the entire image. And that like, like the subtle softness coming down here, the, the, the subtlety and the brightness up here versus the brightness as we go down, um, the key hit on the back of the girl, the fact there's like a little bit of this light passing through here. There's a lot of like really fine detail that really makes this one engaging. Like everything feels very cohesive. Um, and so that would, that would be something to strive for with this is like, is really kind of, kind of getting, um, not just like the color and the value that he was getting, but getting everything to feel like it's really naturally happening into one space. Like, um, like the way, like coming down, you know, it, like look, just looking down the stem of the mushroom, it's brighter and more saturated at the top. And then it comes down like, and, and this one, it's like, like this value feels a little bit similar to like the value in here. And I want this to be brighter and then come down. And then like, we're getting some of these shadows are, are little, are darker than the shadows that we're seeing down here. It's, 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 a, it's not and like, obviously you just started on it, so of course it's not gonna be, but you're just, but like it's about getting that cohesion of the world uh, making sense together in, in one space. And like, um, yeah, I mean, cause he, like it, it looks like, and, and a lot of it too is I think he's got a backplate in there, um, but the, ba the backplate blends so seamlessly with the CG elements. Um, I think it works out really well. The only, the only place it kind of breaks down a little bit is right over here and like these darks are very dark um, uh, versus like they're more lifted in the foreground, which kind of throws us off a little bit. But like, other than that, it's it's all it's all like kind of a cohesive thing. Um, 
Yeah. And then, like, like looking at her face, like, he's got, like, again, the nice softness that kind of wraps around where this one's a little bit more of a hard line that happens there. Um... And yeah, like the shadows are, are like a little bit softer. Um, and like like looking at this, there's kind of like a hard edge there where these are, are much more softer and kind of roll with the environment a little bit more. So that's my take on it. All right. I do have to get going, but it's been lovely chatting with you all today. Um, amazing posts all day. Like this was, this was a good, this, there's a lot of stuff to go through and it was really good. So uh, keep going, keep posting, and I'm excited to see what you guys come up with tomorrow. So until then, I'll Thank talk to you. you. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.